Hey guys, I'm Christo Garcia from My Swing Evolution. Now, we've all heard the terrible stories about golf courses closing all around the country. I've heard as many as one a week. In fact, my brother Don bought a beautiful house on a championship golf course about 10 years ago. And guess what? The course went out of business. But the great news is, last year Ace Golf came in to take over the golf course, and now it's coming back better than ever. So you guys know I love a good golf story, so don't miss this one about plantation palms. Hi, I'm Kevin Deach. I'm the general manager here at Plantation Palms Golf Club in Land Lakes, Florida. About three years ago, this course actually closed. Uh, the previous owners ran into some financial difficulties and they actually had to close and it sat dormant for about two and a half years. Uh, last year, starting in June, we took over the course at Ace Golf and started renovating. We're not there yet, we're definitely a work in progress, but we're making strides every day. I get people coming up to me and talking to me and they can't believe the difference that they see. I got here about a year ago, I couldn't even recognize where there was golf holes. It looked like a wilderness reserve. And you came out here and there's places that the weeds were taller than me. And I say the weeds, not the grass, it was weeds. The course was designed by David Harmon, who is actually used to be one of Jack Nicholas's top golf course designers. I believe this is a golfer's club. It's, it, you come out here and every hole has got individual unique shots. There's no holes back to back, buttoned up against each other. It's really a true dream. You got dog legs left, dog legs right. We got water on, I believe, 15 of the 18 holes. The water comes into play. Just phenomenal design. We went with 100% brand new Tiff Eagle Greens and uh, we got them started and they're really growing in nice and thick and a little bit shaggy now as we're getting them cut down and rolling real nice and true and quick. We came in and we, we wanted to get the golf course, that's step number one, and phase number one of what we're going after. But we, we realized that the greens fees alone aren't going to do it. That this has got to really be, the whole family's got to get incorporated to what we do. So we're renovating the golf course. We brought in a miniature golf design company who built us a brand new 18 hole miniature golf course, which is amazing and brings the whole family and hopefully we're going to bring in a lot of kids get them started early and growing up in, in, into the game of golf and loving it. We also have a lighted driving range, which is the only one in the area, so we can go all day and go even into the nighttime. One of the big key factors that we wanted to look at was we wanted to renovate the restaurant, and rather than just having your typical tired, sleepy old restaurant on golf clubs, it's called Mulligan's Irish Pub. It's full Irish fare, and then we also have all kinds of uh, different craft beers, local, seasonal. Uh, we have 13 on draft, and then a, a varied selection of bottles as well. I've been working here since January, since they reopened, and it's been really great, honestly. A lot of business, a lot of friendly faces. I love the management and everything. Again, we're incorporating as much different areas that we can bring people into the area and make this the center of the community, the center of where people want to gather. Oh, you're fresh out of school, kids, for the summer? Well, feel free to grab a tambourine and come up and help us whenever you feel the need to. Uh, so rather than just utilizing the restaurant space to have banquets or anything, we are building on an entire new addition and there are going to be 250 person weddings, banquets that we can hold in there. We want to make this really the true center point of everything and, and offer the golf, the restaurant, the mini golf, the lighted driving range, the banquet center and just really have, a, have an environment and a source for everybody to come up and enjoy. I worked here before and then it closed down and then now it reopened a lot better. Boy, I tell you what, I, I talk to homeowners every day that live in this neighborhood, in this community, and they just thank me. They can't believe it. I tell them, well, it's just an undertaking of all of us together. It's a team effort. I talked to a guy today who said he bought his house a year ago. He really likes golf and what, liked the game of golf, and he wasn't even necessarily thinking about the property value, but he said, you know what? He goes, I can't believe it. I just bought it a year ago. He goes, I can already see how much my property value has raised. <laughs> 